So hey, hey guys, um, I'm a kind of this here. So um, for the past few days, I have been talking a lot about authoring a book in the month of June. This is the month of June. You have to author a book and unleash it to the world. Uh, so yesterday I had a conversation with a pastor friend of mine and he wants to market his book. And so he reached out to me to have a consultation uh, session with me and uh, regarding the kind of things that he needs to do to be able to make the book a success. So I decided to come in here to share this because I think it's important for me to share this. I think it's um, pertinent for you to understand the things that you need to you know, put down and start to think about if you want to become successful at selling or uh, marketing and selling your book. So quickly, um, if you start out to author a book, you have to think about the objectives first and foremost. So what are your objectives um, for authoring a book? And I've broken down into two monetary objectives and non-monetary objectives. So when it has to do with the monetary objectives, um, how much money do you want to make from the book? Do you want to make a thousand dollars from the book um, during this, this launch phase, not post-launch, but it's launch phase when the book gets into the market? Do you want to make two thousand dollars monthly from the book? You have to be able to determine what your monetary objective is. Do you want to make lots of money? Do you just want to make money from the book? It has to be stated so that it can drive um, the marketing process when the book is eventually released. And then what is your non-monetary objective? Um, non-monetary objectives about fame, are you using it to build a movement? Are you using it to, to debunk certain ideologies in the society? Are you using it to share your story? Are you using it to build fame? So there must be a non-monetary objective when it has to do with authoring your book. You have to decide that for yourself. So for someone like me, I like using my books to build a movement. For example, I'm currently writing a book on um, how market, how writers can market their books and make lots of money. So it's a movement that I'm building. So do you want to build a movement for yourself? Do you want to build fame? Do you want to um, debunk certain ideologies? Do you want, there are so many reasons. Do you want to just put out your story there? Do you want to put out new thoughts there? So there has to be a non-monetary objective for your book. You have to state that. Then the next thing you have to ask yourself, the target audience. People write books and they say that their book is for everybody. That's, that's the beginning of failure. Your book cannot be for everybody. So I wrote the book called Now Waiting Self. It's a collection of short stories. I specifically said to people who are buying the book that the book wasn't meant for toddlers. It wasn't meant for teenagers because I was as raw in the book using certain sexual innuendos in the book. So it wasn't good. It's not a book for teenagers. Your book is not for everybody. It's not, it's not water. It's not water that everybody ought to drink. Your book is targeted for a specific set of individuals for whom you have written the book. You have to be able to decide for yourself, design um, specifically who is this book meant for. That will determine the kind of language that you use in the book, the kind of diction that you're using in the book, the kind of tonality you're using in the, in the book, so that when this person that you've written the book for receives the book, they feel awesome, they feel connected to what you're sharing in your book. So um, a good way to do this is to put before you, all right, before your face, that individual that has the problem, that has this frustration, that has the challenge that your book is dealing with. Put the person before you, in just before you, and then begin to ask certain questions. What's this person dealing with? What is his aspiration? What is his problem? What are the challenges that, that the person is dealing with that you are writing the book for? It's critical. So for example, my book on book marketing for writers is specifically targeted at authors at writers who have written a book and want to make lots of money from their book. Both people who are about to write the book and those who have written books but have not been able to make some good amount of money um, from, their, from their written books, from their published books. So it's critical for you to understand your target audience first. And then the next thing is, why are you writing the book? There's a reason for writing the book. There's a reason. So you didn't just wake up a day and say you just want to write a book. There has to be a reason, right? Why are you writing the book? That is the purpose for writing the book. And that is something that by the time you determine the why, this will propel you to wake up on a daily basis to start to put words in the book. There is a why. Because without why, 
is rudderless. It seems that um, it's the same thing as waking up and you want to travel somewhere. You have to determine where you're going to. Are you going to Lagos? Are you going to the US? Are you going to the Philippines? And so you now start to think, how do I get to the Philippines? Means I have to get to the airport, get into the plane, and then I fly to Philippines, right? Without this um, destination in mind, which is the why, um, everything you'll be doing is rudderless, right? What I mean by we are just directionless. But with the why, you have a direction, you have a specific, a specific um, intention and target in your, in your heart, and then you wake up on a daily basis to continue to write your book. Then you look at internal resources. What are the internal resources that you have, right? So at, when I talk about internal resources, internal resources mean your platforms. What are the platforms where you are sh you're showcasing your art, what you've been doing, what you've been sharing, what your message, right? So um, when I talk about platforms, I talk about your email. Do you have an email list? You need to have an email list because these are the people that you can share the book with, that you can market the book to, right? Do you have a website? Because people have to be able to go to your website even when you're sleeping and make an order from your website. So it's critical for you to have that, right? Then your social media. So what have you been doing with your social media platforms? Is it a place where you just come to rant, you come to, you come to say all sorts of funny, funny stuff? Is it a place where you have intentionally positioned yourself to share about your brand's message. It's critical for you to start doing that, right? So platforms own email, website, social media. Then another thing, the connections that you have in your life. So do you have on-air presenters in your life? Do you have political people in your life? Do you have pastors in your life? Do you have industry leaders in your life? It's for you to sit down and then look at all the contacts that you've had in your life. Phone contacts, family contacts, church contacts and list them down because they are necessary for you to, these people will help you to, um, they are connections that will help to give you opportunities to connect with people in their own circle that need the book that you're, off, they are, that you're authoring. That these people have the problems, right? So your connections will help you to connect with your own audience, connect with the people who have the problems that your book solves, and then you can market to them. And then um, your campaign team. So internal resources campaign team are the individuals who are connected to you, people who, you, who like you, people who have come to believe in what you do, that can rally around and provide a voice for uh, marketing your book. So these are internal resources, right? Critical for you to, to have them. And then external resources, um, the video, the camera is not really getting there. Organic traffic. So how have you been building organic traffic to yourself? Do you do your blog? Um, do you blog? Do you speak in public? Do you connect and collaborate with other people? How have you been driving traffic to everything that you've been doing on your platforms? Those are very critical. And then you have paid traffic. So Facebook ads and radio or TV. You have to be able to spend some amount of money on marketing your book. So <laughs> that book is a great product. Just the same way that Coke wakes up and they keep marketing Coke, pushing out Coke, publicizing it, putting it into our faces. Your book is a great product that must be publicized. So you have to put money down every month to be able to market your book, promote it through Facebook ads, through getting on radio or getting on TV as the case may be. Getting on, on radio and TV can still be something um, that wouldn't cost you a lot of money if you have um, internal resources, as I said, OAPs, industry leaders, or pastors, as the case may be. These guys can have connections with people on radio and they can connect with you. Uh, they can connect you to those people who are on radio or TV and they can invite you to come um, share and talk about your book. Then I talk about add-ons, right? Um, with respect to that book that you're writing, is there something else that, else that you can add? Something like bonuses that you can bring together? So people are buying, as they buy the book, they have bonuses that they can gain as a result of buying your book. Then you have a workbook, right? A workbook is like, like a template. So they read your book and then they take your workbook and they can detail their own journey to be able to get the results that they are seeking for. So you have a, you have a workbook, then you have a consultant ac access to yourself. So somebody can buy your book and they want to have an access to you. They want to have access to you and maybe ask a few questions. If you have that, right? So somebody buys your book, they're able to assess you and then they can tap more from your brain. It can be something like an add-on that people will love um, to tap into to be able to, um, to buy your book, right? 
then maybe you have an, a resource list. Uh, maybe somebody is writing about um, how to get a job. Do you have a resource list where they can go uh, to look for jobs? Maybe you have access to certain companies that can give them jobs or websites where they can go to apply for jobs. So you've written a book on how people can get jobs, but then a resource list that you've added together with the book um, as an add-on can help them you know, make up their minds to want to buy your book. So these are just a few things, right? Objectives, target audience, why, internal resources, external resources, and then add-ons. A few things that you have to start thinking about when it comes to authoring your book. So I, I do hope that you do that today. Take your time, right? Get out a sheet of paper and then start to think about these things um, as regards authoring your book. If you get these things clearly, they will form um, the template upon which you can run. They can form the document upon which you can run and then you can get results for your book. So everything you do will not be haphazard. Things you do concerning your book will not be directionless. You have a direction, you have a purpose, you have a specific way that you want to get things done and then you go all out to get the results. I do hope that you do that and I do hope that you get phenomenal results when it comes to your book marketing. Right? So my name is Emeka Nobis. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Emeka Nobis everywhere and then um, let's be friends and connect and I will definitely continue to share with you my journey and the successes and strategies and ways that you can get your own results, All right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Share this video to your friends, your family, even to your enemies and <laughs> let them get it. And the more successes your enemies get, <laughs> the better for all of us, All right? So thank you for watching. See ya.